Which tool do we use to comb our hair? It's a comb, yes. That's correct. But we also need a mirror for that. When we stand in front of a mirror, we see the duplicate of ourselves in it. We say that this is our image. Whatever actions we perform are imitated by our image. Besides combing our hair, where else do we use the mirror? We use mirrors in so many daily life actions that we don't even realize that we're using them. We human beings use them mostly for beautification purposes. Mirrors are also present on the sides of the vehicles. The images of the vehicles behind us are formed in it, helping us to keep track of the vehicles mostly behind us. Mirrors are also used in some types of telescopes, solar heaters and headlights of vehicles. Do you know that there are types of mirrors? We talk about basically three types of mirrors. Plane mirror, convex mirror and concave mirror. What do these names mean? Well, a plane mirror is pretty obvious. It forms a single plane. Convex and concave mirrors on the other hand are curved mirrors. Convex mirror is curved outwards while the concave mirror is curved inwards. Each mirror forms images of objects and these images vary in properties. For instance, here you can see that the image formed by a concave mirror is larger than the size of the object, while the image formed by a convex mirror is smaller than the object. Size of the image and the object are the same in the case of a plane mirror. But don't worry, we're not going to get any deeper into that right now. How is the image formed in a plane mirror? The answer is light. When we stand in front of a mirror, we see our image. Will we be able to see our image in the dark? Not really. We would need light for that. We will discuss this point in greater detail in our next video.